Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about drawing from the back, which is something that we commonly see in TV shows, video games and movies, but can it be done in real life? Well, a lot of people on the internet seem to want to have back and forth debates about this, so I figured the only way I was going to solve it was by trying all the methods myself. So. I made myself one. It's just cardboard with some faux leather, but it, it does the job just fine. So, I'm gonna put it on and let's check it out. I just wanna say, I'm no historian. I don't really know that much about the history of swords. Uh, certainly not as much as other people, so I'm not really gonna come at it from that angle. But there's a lot of people out there who do and can come at it from that view. And they seem to say that it was never really done. Some people might have transported swords like that, but I'll get into that a little bit later. This is a long sword, by the way, which is often the length of sword that people seem to use in films and TV shows when they are depicting people drawing swords. But it's, it does vary. Sometimes they're one-handed swords, you know, sometimes they're katana, but this rule kind of applies to all of those types of swords. So, the first argument, with a longsword in particular, is it's just too damn long. Now, my arm span from shoulder to fingertips is about 81 centimetres. The length of the blade is around 96 centimetres. So, obviously it doesn't take a genius to know that when I pull the blade up, it's going to reach a point where I just can't get out any further. And I have to struggle. Really pull on it. And maybe... No. It's not happening. I can't draw the sword by pulling it straight up. So we can clearly see it's not very practical. So why is it that people are so willing to defend it? They're so desperate for it to be true that they will write essay long Twitter comments and make videos to come up with excuses for how it can work. Why are people so desperate for it to work? It looks pretty impressive in films and TV shows, but once you understand the trickery behind it, it kind of takes away from the magic. You'll notice in most films that what normally happens is time to die. Here goes nothing. See now, this is the ridiculous part, putting the damn thing back. Oh, Christ, talking about putting it in, th this is ridiculous. Ah. There we go, finally. Right. Now, I do understand why people so desperately defend this look. It is pretty cool. I can't lie, but is it that much cooler than just wearing a sword? at your side. Now even drawing from the side has its problems. Look, it's still pretty hard to get the sword the whole way out. Would I really want to have it on my back, out of the way, when it comes to the problem of getting into a fight? Just to prove once and for all why this can't be done, because in case this isn't enough evidence for some of you guys. Some of the common arguments for why this can work include, well, you can always pull the scabbard down. Okay, right, let's try that. So the scabbard normally rests about here. I grab the sword and I grab the bottom of this and I pull. Now, how flimsily do I want this scabbard to be attached to my back? If it's on really loose, I can roll it round and bring the sword up. Look, it's still... Can't... I can't... I mean, I could... No. So no, that doesn't work. Particularly not if it's well fastened to me, which I'm guessing you would want it to be. The second argument a lot of people make is that you can modify the scabbard. And this is true, but how much modification do you have to do before it's pointless having a scabbard at all? The only way I can see it being done is by making an incision about a third of the way down on the side, removing that. Now, not only would that make the sword less secure, it wouldn't protect the blade 
from the elements, which is another reason that you want a scabbard. Some people say you can do it with shorter weapons. Weapons like katana. Okay. No. Still doesn't work. This isn't the way it's normally depicted in TV and films anyway. Normally, it's this way around. Which would be much harder, because obviously you would want to work with the curve to try and get it out. And you still can't unless you pull the scabbard down. And it's still not ideal, and that's what we want with this. It's a weapon. We want to be able to draw it and use it. We don't want to have to go be going like this, trying desperately to pull our blade out whilst getting stabbed. The shorter weapon argument does work. I mean, if you reduce it to the size of a knife, it's pretty damn easy to draw it from the back. But that's not really what we're arguing about here, is it? An argument that does work is that you could pull the blade out, grab the blade, pull it the rest of the way, and then grab it. Now, it's not ideal, as you just saw, but at least you can actually get it out that way. But I wouldn't want to be doing it in a fight. Another argument I commonly see people say is that you can just take it off and then draw it. And that is obviously true. Of course you can. But would I really want to? Now, there are some characters, like the Hound from Game of Thrones, who wears a long sword across his back and he wears a sidearm, a shorter sword at his side that he can draw if he needs to and then, you know, if shit really goes down, he can pull out the big guns. And that's fine, that's great, that makes sense. But if you're walking around with just one of these under the assumption that when a fight comes your way, it's gonna be, hey, are you, are you ready for the fight that we arranged? Yep, sure, good, right, okay, let me just take this off, right, good. I'm ready, are you ready? It's not gonna happen. It's nonsense. They aren't going to want you to have that chance to get prepared. They're going to attack you while they can, and you want to be prepared for that attack. Obviously. I mean, it's fine. Let's leave it in fantasy. That's where it belongs. But just be aware that nobody would want to do this in real life. I would much rather than all of this, just have my sword safely at my side and draw it when I need it. It's just that simple. Let's just face it, drawing from the back doesn't work unless you're in TV shows, movies or video games. Thanks very much for watching guys. Bye. It does look pretty cool. I suggested that the sheath in um, Shadow of Mordor would have worked because it was cut off from the top. Now, it wouldn't have worked as a sheath, it wouldn't have protected the blade, but it would have worked if you wanted to draw from the back. And I was wrong. It wouldn't work at all. It's supported the whole way up the side, so you wouldn't be able to pull the blade out.